Hi, this is Kim from Sew A Lot, and today we're going to talk about the Creative Grids 45 degree half square triangle and the Creative Grids 90 degree quarter square triangle. First, we're going to talk about the 45 degree triangle. I'm going to show you how to use it, and then we'll talk about the 90 degree quarter square triangle and how to use it, and then we'll talk about how it applies to our heritage block of the month. So, the 45 degree half square triangle has a flat corner. This corner is going to be the top or the bottom of your triangle that you're cutting. It has lines that go down from that flat edge. It's got, it goes down to eight and a half inches and it's marked every inch, every half inch, and then it's marked with a white line every quarter inch. Now, to start using this triangle, the first thing you have to know is what size triangles you're cutting. Um, today we're going to work with a two and a half inch size, which will give us a two inch finished size. So, if your finished size is three, you're going to need to cut three and a half. But we're going to work with a two inch finished size, and so what we do is we cut our strip two and a half. And so you start with a strip of your fabric. Okay, I'm going to use red and blue just for demonstration purposes. This does not apply to our block of the month. Okay, so I have a two and a half inch strip of fabric. I'm going to place my ruler onto the fabric. And so the flat edge is lined up with the top edge of the strip and the bottom edge of the strip is lined up at the two and a half inch line. At this point, we're gonna cut along and make a straight edge on the left and then cut on the right edge of the angle. Now I'm not gonna move my strip. I'm just gonna pick up my ruler, slide away my triangle. This part's important. So our ruler, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it 180 degrees. So we've turned it 180 degrees the flat edge is now facing down on the strip and the angle is lined up where we cut before. Now we'll just make a straight cut on the right side of our ruler, pull our triangle away. Now we have a new straight edge to start with on the fabric. We turn our ruler back 180 degrees back to the way we started. Line up our flat edge on the top, straight edge down the side, even with the fabric. Our two and a half inch line going straight across the bottom of the fabric and then we'll cut the angle. And we have our, our piece. So for the second fabric, you're going to turn it over so that the face is right side down. We're going to line up the flat edge at the top and the two and a half inch line at the bottom of the strip. Cut along the angle and the straight edge. Remove that. Rotate your ruler 180 degrees. Flat edge at the bottom. Line up the two and a half inch at the top. Turn our ruler 180 degrees and line up again with the two and a half inch line here at the bottom and the flat edge at the top and cut. So now we have six different triangles and we need to put these together. So we're going to put right sides together just like that, right sides together and if you lay them out you'll have the, or the flat edge at the top and put right sides together. Then when you take them to the sewing machine and sew on your diagonal, you'll come back with a two and a half inch perfect half square triangle. So this will remove a lot of the squaring up that we do cutting the half square triangles. So we just sew our scant quarter inch diagonally and it gives us the perfect half square triangle. So just remember that when you cut these, that one has to go you cut one right side up and the second one you'll cut with the right side down. Now another way that you can do this is you can place them together. If you know the pieces are going to be sewn together, you place them right sides together. Take your ruler and just cut them together. Place them along there, cut it, and there you've got your piece all ready to go to the sewing machine and sew that perfect square.